Hey everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send or forward WhatsApp messages to Telegram automatically. So guys, suppose that you are chatting with your customers or your leads or your clients on WhatsApp personally, and you're receiving queries and feedbacks from your clients. And you want to forward those insights that you're getting personally on WhatsApp to a group on telegram to your team you can use this automation guys and you don't have to forward those messages manually and your team will instantly get to know what is the requirement of your users or your clients because they are receiving the messages directly from whatsapp to telegram so you can see now on my screen this will be the flow of this automation here as and when you are going to receive any message personally on WhatsApp, the same message will be delivered as a new message on a group on Telegram automatically. And guys, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And with the help of this, you can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. So to set up this automation guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli connect application and to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. So we have pasted this same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli connect account by clicking on the sign up free button and you will get hundred free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation. For that, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So here I'm giving the name as send WhatsApp messages to Telegram. Okay. So after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these things, we are going to set up this automation. So the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, guys, the trigger would be uh, receiving of any message personally in WhatsApp and the action towards that trigger would be to send the same message to Telegram group. Okay, automatically, right? So first of all, we need to set up the trigger. So now guys, we are going to connect uh, the WhatsApp account that we are using here in this trigger. So to connect that WhatsApp account, we need to have the access of WhatsApp's API or application programming interface. So we are going to use the cloud API feature of WhatsApp to get that access. So uh, first of all, you need to connect your WhatsApp account with the cloud API of WhatsApp. After that, you can use that feature here. And if you want to know how to connect your WhatsApp account with the API, you can watch the video from the description guys, where we have clearly explained everything about the setup of cloud API. And after that, you just have to search here WhatsApp cloud API. Okay, you will find it here and you have to select it. Okay and the trigger event would be message notification. So it will triggers when a new message is sent, delivered or received. Okay, select this. And guys, it will give you this URL. So with the help of this webhook URL, guys, we are going to make a connection with the cloud API platform. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay, so if you want to know how to make the connection, you can read here, please follow the steps explained under notification section here. So when you click on this here word, you will reach the forum page of Pabli and here you will find uh, these two videos first. So by watching the video, you can understand the cloud API setup and from here you can uh, know how to generate a permanent access token of cloud API. All right. And here you will find these steps along with the screenshots to make this connection. You can see we got this webhook URL and now you have to go to the configuration section of your cloud API setup there you have to paste the url in the callback url field let me show you guys this is my cloud api setup page this is meta for developer section i have created an app here and under this app i have my whatsapp section and here i am on the configurations tab so when you click on configurations this kind of page will open up okay and here guys you have you will find this webhooks option okay so here you have to click on add it and here you will find this callback URL. So we have already a webhook pasted here. Let me erase this. 
ओके सो इन दिस कॉल बैक यू आर एल फील्ड यू हैव टू कॉपी दिस वेब ऑफ यू आर एल लाइक दिस एंड यू हैव टू पेस्ट इट हेयर लाइक दिस ओके एंड फॉर द वेरीफाइड टोकन यू कैन सी इन दिन दिस पेज वी हैव दिस वेरीफाइड टोकन दिस इज द वेरीफाइड टोकन गाइज सो यू हैव टू जस्ट कॉपी दिस टोकन लाइक दिस and you have to paste it here in the token field and then click on verify and save okay so you can see a new callback url in the token is saved here okay let's follow the next steps after that guys you have to uh, under the configurations only under the web hooks you have to click on manage and you have to subscribe this message option okay so here guys you can see we have this web hooks field okay so click on manage button here and under here guys you will find this messages section so you have to subscribe this so you can see uh, okay click on subscribe from here like this and here you can see guys uh, when i copied this webhook url it started showing waiting for the webhooks response so this means now we have to test we, we have to test this connection that we have created with the help of this webhook url and for testing the connection you have a button here in this cloud api setup only when you subscribe this messages option this means we can uh, transfer the data of the messages we are receiving or sending in whatsapp in our workflow by subscribing this messages section and now to test this connection we have this test button you can see so when you click on this test button the test response of any message that we can receive on whatsapp will be captured here in this response section let me show you uh here let me click on test button okay you can see the message successfully sent at this time let us check in our workflow if we got the data and here you can see in this response receive section we got the data like this okay here it is showing the field messages product is whatsapp here you will find the username who is who has sent you the message in this profile name label okay here you will find the messages type text and this is in the text body label you will find the text body uh, that or the text message that you are receiving in whatsapp okay so here is a sample message you can see this is a text message that we have received okay after that what we what i want i want to forward this same message on telegram in a group for that to happen use this action step and here guys choose the action application as telegram bot okay select telegram bot and in the action event guys select this send a text message or a reply okay then click on connect and from here select add new connection and here you can give a name to this connection as well and here it is asking for the token so guys to uh, put a token here first of all you need to create a bot inside telegram web application and after that after creation of the bot you will get a token so that you can enter it here so you can follow these steps written here guys let me show you how exactly you can create a bot so this is my telegram application and here in the search bar you have to search for bot father okay so when you search for bot father here you will find this blue tick bot father icon click on blue tick bot father and here you have to send a message to this bot father which is slash new bot this one send this slash new bot message here like this okay and hey, it has automatically replied that all right a new bot so how are we are how are we going to call it so please choose a name for a bot so here you have to give a name to your bot so i am giving the name as uh, let's say whatsapp bot or just whatsapp okay so now it is sh uh, showing good now let's choose a username for a bot it must end in bot like tetris bot or tetris underscore bot so now you have to give a username to the bot that you want to create so here i am giving the username as whatsapp underscore one underscore bot okay and here's how you can create a new bot it is showing done congratulations on your new bot and you will find it at this link and here is the access token that we needed so you can just copy this token from here okay and you have to paste this token here in this token field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with telegram 
so we are now connected and here it is asking for the chat id of the uh, target chat or the group in which you want to send the messages okay right so here first of all what you need to do you have to oh, uh, you have to add this bot that you have created inside that group in which you want to send the messages okay so this is the whatsapp bot that i have created now guys you have to add this bot inside a group in which you want to send the messages and you have to make this bot as an admin of that group okay so you can do that with the help of your smartphone i cannot show you that on my screen but you can do this so let me add this bot as an admin in the group i have you can see i have this group team pably so in this group only i am going to add the bot okay so guys you can see i have added the whatsapp bot in this group as an admin and here you can see guys it is asking for the chat id so you will find the chat id when you open your group here on this url field guys you can see on the top we have this number after this hashtag so from this dash just copy this string of integers like this okay and this is the chat id actually and you have to paste it here like this okay and here it is asking for the text message that you want to send so guys uh, we want to forward the whatsapp message and you will get the whatsapp message in this text body label so this is the sample message we have received so i am going to map this text body label here in this message so that we can directly forward it so just click here and from this whatsapp section uh, map the label which is text body label or if you want to add some more details some more things uh, uh, in this message you can type you can manually type the message uh, as well so here i am putting this is the message we have received received from whatsapp okay so now i have mapped the label okay so this is how the message is going to be appear on telegram let me show you here you uh, okay so if you want to disable notifications you can make it yes or no and we are not sending any links so you can make it no and now you can check your connection with telegram by clicking on save and send test request and this message will be delivered here in this group let me show you so here i am clicking on save and send test request guys so here you can see it is showing a kind of error and it is showing that this character which is a full stop is reserved and must be escaped okay with the preceding slash okay so here let me remove this full stop it can be sent and because we are sending this message in a markdown language so that's why it is showing this error now click on save and send test request and here you can see this is the response we have received let's check in our telegram if we got the a new message here and here you can see this is the message we have received the message is this this is the message we have received from whatsapp this is a text message you can see this is the same message we have mapped here okay and we got the message here forwarded like this so that's how you can send you can forward whatsapp messages on telegram okay so we are done setting up the automation and guys you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when you are going to receive any personal message on your chat the message will be delivered to your telegram automatically and the good part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i am going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel